This is IEC Group Network and you are watching. Hello and welcome to Saurav Mishra Notes, yet another episode of Programming Tricks in 2 Minutes. Do you have an existing database or an old application which you want to convert in .NET Core application? If you are from a .NET framework background, you will say I will go for an EDMX file. But my friend, in .NET Core, there is no such way to create an EDMX file. So now the question comes, how you can achieve this? So today in this video, we will try to understand how you can DB first step approach with the use of Entity Framework Core and .NET Core. I know many times in interview, you heard this question, why and when you will go for a DB first step approach. So today in this video, we will try to understand. Why DB first? So the answer is, if you have an existing database and you want to utilize its tables, stored procedure and views, you can go for DB first approach. Now the question comes, how we can implement DB first approach in .NET Core? So you can see in front of me one .NET Core application is there. So I have one web API and I have one DB layer. So it's an empty application currently. And you can see I have one database called fruit wedge DB. In this database, I have only one table called product master. So you can see I have some data here. So I am going to click on the view data. And you can see I have this uh, data already. And I want to utilize this tables and everything into my .NET Core application. So for this, I have to create and install one NuGet package application, which is Microsoft Entity Framework Core .SQL Server. So I'm going to click on the install button and click on the OK button now. So you can see in the packages folder, this NDV framework course SQL server is there. Now in the next step, with the use of package manager console, we will install one package. So if you want to install any package, command is install package and then we will install Microsoft.NDD framework core.tools. You press enter and you can see your package installer is started. So you can see in the DB layer project, you have two dependencies are there which are installed from NuGet package. Now in the next step, we will create one folder and in this folder, what we will do, we will call all our model classes will insert here. So for this, we have to install one more package called Microsoft.EntityFramework.Design. This package I am going to install in my Web API application because our Web API application will represent this particular DB first approach. So you can see this particular package is also installed. And in the next step, I will go for a scaffolding. So friends, this is the time when your DB first approach all models class will come. So you can see scaffold DB contact. This is the command. And then I will go for a provider, which is I am using SQL server. And in the next step, I have provide the connection string. And then I have a fruit wedge DB. This is my database name and output DIR models means in the model directory, I want to store. So you can see when I press enter, you can see in front of me, there are two files installed. And first is fruit wedge db context. So this is my db context file. This is, the, this is the main file. In this file, your complete database, you can see all the tables, the stored procedure will come in this particular file. And we have only one table. So you can see I have this particular table, which is called product master. So this is the way you can convert your existing database or existing things in the DB first approach in .NET Core because there is no such concept of EDMX. You have to convert in a model classes. So if you like this video, please share with your friends. And in the next video, I am going to talk about how you can call your web API to your database. Thanks for watching. Happy programming.